Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Vistar Photography and today I just have a really quick Lightroom thing that I want to talk to you about um, and it is actually a bug that was introduced in Lightroom 7.3. So this bug affects presets, um, so if you use presets a lot, if you make your own presets or you have um, commercial presets that you bought, uh, including my own, you may come across this bug. So in this short video I'm going to show you just exactly what it is and a kind of a clunky workaround for it. Um, Adobe is aware of this bug, so hopefully they will fix it in a future version. But first of all, let me just dive right in and show you exactly what this is and how it affects Lightroom. So say for example, you have a gradient or you want to put a gradient onto your image um, and you want to use this as part of a preset, for example. So let's just put any old gradient on here for a second. Um, so I'm just gonna darken down the top and maybe I'm gonna make it blue. Um, I'm just doing this so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, obviously, <laughs> that's not something you would actually do, um, but this is just for demonstration purposes, so I'm going to hit close here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a preset. So I'm going to hit Command Shift N. And I'm just going to check all, and I'm going to call this Gradient Test. Okay, and I'm going to hit Create. So now if I go to a horizontal image, or a landscape orientated image, and I want to apply this preset, so let me just find it. So if I apply this now, you can see that the um, the gradient filter I have is rotated to the side. Um, this isn't the way Lightroom used to do, uh, used to do this when you applied a gradient. Um, prior to 7.3, it would still keep the gradient at the top of the image, so it would automatically rotate it, basically. The problem is if you have presets with uh, gradients built into them, and quite a lot of presets do. Um, some of mine do. Uh, I have a, a toolbox with some of my older presets um, that have gradients. And uh, unfortunately, this bug means that they won't rotate properly. So you need to create separate versions for horizontal and vertical images, which isn't really practical because you'd end up with a whole lot of presets that you don't need. And secondly, um, this is a bug and it needs to be fixed. So that's basically what the bug is. And now let me show you a quick workaround. So the thing is, it doesn't actually uh, do this if you copy and paste. So if I undo this and I go back to my horizontal, my vertical image here that I've created the, the preset on and I copy and then copy everything. And then I can go to the horizontal one and hit paste. And now you can see the gradient is applied properly. So this is the way the gradient should be applied. And prior to 7.3, this is the way the gradient would have been applied. So if you have a preset that has a gradient in it and it's not applying properly to a vertical image, then the quickest and easiest fix for this at the moment until Adobe fixes this is to find a horizontal image, uh, apply the preset to it, then move to the image that your vertical image that you want to and um, copy and paste between the two. Or you could use the previous button as well. So uh, to give you another example, say, um, let me just, here's another vertical image. So I could just use the previous button here and this would also work. Just to give you one more example, just to, to really show you what I mean. So I will use one of my own presets that I know has, um, has a gradient baked into it. So here, this is in my Thomas's toolbox, which comes with Film Candy. Uh, which is one of my own presets. So I have, this is an ND grad that I've applied. So it, it basically slightly darkens the top of the image. So if I go to a vertical image now, so if I applied this, where is it gone now? So you can see here, it's applying it to the side. So it's the wrong orientation. So I can undo that. And then if I go back to the one I just applied it to, which I have lost, so again, I will apply it to a horizontal image, go to the vertical one, and then just hit previous, and that will solve the problem. It's not an ideal solution, as I said, but until Adobe fixes this, that's kind of the only workaround I can think of. Um, I've tried editing the presets, I've tried loading them up in a text editor and see if there's any kind of fix or anything you can do, but unfortunately there isn't. It does seem to be a bug in Lightroom. Um, I've checked on various Lightroom forums, and as far as I can tell, Adobe are aware of this. I've seen a response from Adobe rep saying they're aware of this and they're looking into it. So hopefully it'll get fixed in a future version.
Okay, so that's it for now. That's just all I wanted to show you in this quick video today. So I hope that has been helpful if you're having this problem. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you want to help make more videos of like this, um, check out my Patreon page. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next time.